guys, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. It's time for my March plan with me. And uh, I am just, I just came in from spending a little bit of my lunch break outside and oh my goodness, is it lovely. So this month I'm going for florals and gardeny things and greens and celebrating spring. Uh, I mentioned, I think, recently that my, my monthly uh, goal for this, for February was garden planning and so I have all of my seeds. Some of them have been planted in cups ready to go out. I'm still um, harvesting all of our lettuces and stuff from um, the winter so I'm not ready to plant everything out yet but I'm so excited for it and I just keep watching like garden vlogs and I'm all excited. Uh, so that's what we're doing here today. I've got, got some birds, I've got some flowers, some are they butterflies? So I think I'm just going to toss some of this layers around. Um, and maybe a, I don't know, a, a sticker or two. It's amazing what just a little bit of fresh air and sunshine will do to your inspiration. I also have recently pulled out um, what some of my old planners. I was kind of looking through some of my style from when I was in Traveler's Notebooks and the sort of torn washi, layered washi kind of thing. Um, it's kind of speaking to me right now, I guess. I don't know. I think I've been <laughs> watching uh, this homesteading channel on YouTube and it's uh, it's gotten me feeling a sort of, sort of way down back to basics down to earth kind of thing so this was February I love these colors but I'm looking for something a little bit more bright um, something a little bit more warm so let's look at our future log I say our future log it's the royal we you guys are not allowed in my future log it's mine let me see here we go uh, March oh yeah I wrote this down forever ago um, I was like, huh, I wonder when my daughter will be a thousand days old. And I looked it up and it's this month. So that's fun. I'll just put that in parentheses. And then over here I need to request time off for Good Friday because that is not a, uh, a holiday anymore in our company. It was for several years, but we were bought out or invested in or whatever. Uh, so I have to request one of my, I say PTO, it's actually a floating holiday. And then March is a birthday month. Well, oh, I guess they're all birthday months, but. Those. Let me check. I think my sister's turning uh, 30 this year, so I'm gonna do something for her. And then, oh. I generally don't forget my immediate family members' birthdays because, like, I've been celebrating those my whole life. And that's all that's on there. Then, I was going to go through my recurring task list recently to mark off the things that had gotten done. We did change the sheets, and I don't remember when. Um, and I changed her toothbrush. I know that because we just did that last night, so let me show you what I do here. I put the arrow here to mark that it's done, and then write it on a new line. Agnes Truth Brush. Repeat every, I'm changing it to two months now. Uh, last done last night, which was the 20, 
23rd. Oh, it's, it's February. 23rd. So next due, April 23rd. All right, then what else? I did do Twitch. I always remember that. So the things now that are due on here are confession because it's Lent. Placing the backflow protectors on my breast pump. Let's see, I'll do that here. Oh no, here. Then April Twitch is here. And here is all of my mid-month replacement thingies. And then changing sheets will happen here this week. So I didn't mention at the beginning, this is insert 14, it's the dated monthly. Um, the quarter two uh, insert or download, which has April, May, June 2021, is available now in my shop. So if you want to, you know, get out planning for the next several months, uh, that is available. This is, uh, I've been really liking it, though I think I might try to switch things up and release another month or a couple more monthly inserts in my shop sometime soon. So if you have um, like preferences and like, what are your thoughts? What are the things that are essential for you in a monthly spread? I would love to hear that in your comments below. Um, that is pretty much it for my monthly planning. But before I go, I wanted to show you what I'm doing with my weeklies because I always do like to change that up. And this is a new insert for 20 or sorry for February. I released this in February. Um, next Sunday's video, it's the first Sunday of the month. I go through and uh, show like all of my inserts that I just released for the previous month so I will be showing this in a little more detail then as well but um here, I'll, I'll decorate in a second so basically this is uh, I'm calling it Dutch door dailies but this is a combo weekly and daily insert so it's actually two pages long here or two spreads long so here you've got uh, your weekly column and the design of this is supposed to be like a project you're working on and three next action items for each project then this is a general to-do list for things that don't have space specifically. Then habits go here. And then here's all your dailies. So on each day you've got, you know, the day of the week and your date. So it's undated. You can use it whenever. So five things to get done that day. A little brief schedule for the day. Then a couple spots for things. Whatever you want to use this for. It's very versatile. I like to use it for things like dinner, which load of laundry I'm doing things to get done in the evening, like, you know, before you go to bed, check, check, check. That's just how I would usually use it, but there's infinite possibilities. And then this is the habit tracker. So you see it's like habits here and then you track on each day specifically without having to rewrite it because this is the genius of this. I'm sorry, but I'm very proud of myself. You've got this, you know, half page column for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the entire week, it's easier to see when it's on the rings, the entire week you can see the column here. So you've got, you know, habit tracking all the way across, you can see it. For example, keep, you know, top of mind all the things you're going on for your week. So this is a brand new, uh, released in February. I'm very excited to be using it. This is insert 28, now available in my shop, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and I'm very excited to use it myself because I haven't actually used it practically yet. I've done similar spreads like this back when I was in like my moleskin, which is where I got the idea. Um, but I'm very excited and I'll be doing a weekly plan with me as I do every month that will, should be coming up the first, thir second Thursday. It's for the second week. I usually plan on my second week live for you or not, you know, could do live videos. What would you think of that if I did live videos? 
would you guys show up and if so what time would be best for you all right i'm gonna throw i think a little bit maybe some more birds maybe some floral and i this was early on like one of the first washes in my collection i think i got this from daiso at some point yeah i said i really liked florals because who doesn't? They're gorgeous and they definitely, definitely have a space. And that space is March. You just can't wait for the cold weather to be over, even though I really love it when it's cold every so often because we don't get that very often. And I've been uh, appreciating like um, what we've been able to grow in the garden when the weather's cold because I tried lettuce in the spring and no, we just don't have time in the spring, literally. I planted my lettuce in October and I've been harvesting it like we had salads for the last couple nights. It's been great. Collard greens also. Very excited about collard greens. I might be doing another garden tour on my Instagram sometime soon because I haven't in a while. So uh, follow me there if you want to see that. I do put those up on my stories occasionally. It's not a gardening channel because I don't know what I'm doing. but. Yeah. Do you guys grow stuff? That's like a third comment I'm asking you. Too many comments. Alright, so this is just a really gorgeous uh, <laughs> photo. I love these girls so much and I love that they're getting to like interact and stuff more. My two and a half year old is really loving on her sister and she is uh, five months old now and is really getting more of a personality and, and just loves her big sister so much. So I make this all decorative and beautiful. And uh, that is, yeah, it goes to like the, the front of my weekly section. So that will be what that is. And I won't need a dailies section anymore in my planner. So I might switch things up, which you will see in my uh, full flip through video also coming later. So just subscribe because there's videos coming out twice a week and I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Bye.